The African Penguin A charismatic species endemic to the coasts of southern Africa. Known for its loud donkey-like noises, distinctive black and white plumage, and extra large breeding colonies. And here in Port Elizabeth, South Africa, there is a place which acts as a lifeline for thousands of these penguins and many other seabird species every year. Sankop is an internationally recognised leader in oiled wildlife response. And these are some of the amazing individuals responsible for rescuing and rehabilitating injured and oiled seabirds. The organisation was set up to help combat the decline of seabirds locally and to provide people with specialist training on how to care for them. The centre also works closely with the general public to help educate them about these amazing animals. In a normal year without any oil spills, Sankop treats up to two and a half thousand seabirds, of which about one and a half thousand are the endangered African penguin. Birds are often found stranded or distressed on beaches and are admitted to the centre either by members of the public or first responders. Once they are admitted to the centre, they go through a rigorous examination process. Trained members of staff check them for injuries and to see whether or not they have any parasites. Once the birds are nearly back to full health, centre staff need to put them through one last test to make sure their feathers are waterproof enough for release. To do this, penguins are placed into a swimming training programme. Individuals are placed into an enclosure with access to a pool which they can use to their heart's content. After a week or so, their feathers get graded and their waterproofing checked. If they're fully waterproof, they get upgraded to the next level before eventually being released back into the wild. With increasing human disturbance and fishing efforts, centres such as these are vital in conserving South Africa's remaining seabird populations. On average, there is about one oil spill every year along the South African coast. And although many birds are saved from oil spills, the knock-on effects are seen years later, especially when the birds reach breeding age. Oil has been found to have a negative impact on their breeding success, leading to less eggs being laid, and subsequently their young having a lower survival rate. Humans also play their part too, competing with penguins for fish. Often birds are found washed up on beaches, emaciated and weak, because they have swum so far to find food, but haven't been able to find enough. Whilst human interference may be having a damaging effect on seabird populations, Sankop is a fantastic example of how successful human intervention can be in protecting our beloved coastal wildlife. And here is the end result, penguins returning back to the South African coast. But without public support and funding, none of this work would have been possible. And that's where you step in. So why not get involved? You could donate to Sankob or even other seabird charities close to you, or maybe even volunteer. There are plenty of opportunities out there. If you want to find out more about the seabirds and the work that Sankob does, check out the links in the description below. And if you like what we do here at EcoSapien, why not hit that subscribe button?